Hey, how's it going, everyone? TNT here. I'm back again playing some more Grounded. So, as we said last time, we're gonna we're going back to Hedge so, or Haze. So, I did uh, did do a little bit of me episodes. Kind of started working on this coziness to see uh, see what it's all about. So, I added another one of these uh, vases. Added the buried chair here. Um, extended the chimney all the way up because that added a lot. Added a second grinder, but I just did that just to make some more stuff. And I added some stuff upstairs. Something really cool. I'll show you all as well. Um, but I added this little uh, grass side table, this ant candle, and these partitions, and it unlocked a few more things. One of the things unlocked is right there. I don't have the stuff to make it yet, but yeah, this is a hot tub. It unlocked a freaking hot tub. This is amazing. Like, hot tub. You know how sweet this is going to be? I'm going to be sitting out here. The bugs are going to be over here looking at me. They're going to be like, so jealous. going to be sitting in my hot tub just relaxing and having a good time. Just enjoying the backyard. And uh, yeah, the weevils going to be jealous wherever you went. Be jealous. All of you. And uh, anyway, so yeah, so when you get your coziness level up, it actually unlocks stuff for you. So I'll show you some of the other stuff as well. Start from the top here. This was all the same. This is all the same as well. It did unlock the gum partition on level three, the koi scale shelf, the trash can, um, and the hot tub on this level. I don't think I unlocked anything different here. I don't believe so. Um, and there's one other thing unlocked here as well. Oh, the bunk bed. You can make that. It has the same coziness as the regular bed, so that's why I didn't make it because they give you the same. Um, but the hot tub. Look at the coziness level for this thing. It's like max. So that's it. That that's like a must have. I mean, all these things like everyone has a little bit. Grandfather clock has a ton. So if you add that, you know, it adds to your coziness level, which is really sweet. Partitions have a little bit, so I added a couple of those. Um, and let's see, tables do as well. I didn't add any of these yet. I probably could and, and up my coziness level a little more. I need to get this koi, uh, this, uh, koi chair. I have the regular one, but this will raise mine up a little bit more. Because if you see, I'm like three and a half now. So I'm pretty close to getting a uh, coziness level five or four, which would be really sweet. It doesn't give you too much, just around your base. Um, gives you just the extra coziness, thunder, thunder and hunger. I need to take out the other mutation too. I went to the, the pond to grab some more of the, uh, uh what do I want in here actually? Uh, we'll do that for now. Actually, we'll do juicy. Or, yeah, we'll do this one just so when we get over the haze, it doesn't take all of our uh, stuff out. So, one thing. Oh, yeah. I'm, I put this here. This is a wolf spider uh, stuffed animal. I haven't uh, I haven't made it yet. I need another spider thing. But I thought it'd be hilarious to put these around the uh, the base and around the yard. And then, like, I'll be walking through and it'll just it'll scare, the, scare the crap out of me every time. So, all these muscle sprouts are growing in. I'll wear out those later. Yeah, I think, uh, I think we're going to head over to the Haze, so I will meet you over there. All right, we made it over to the Haze Lab. Um, yeah, I think there's a lot more bugs spawn because I had like a ton of those weevils trying to attack me. Apparently some blowing up next to me. But yeah, let's go ahead and let's get rid of this door here. Uh, let's see, I'm just going to drop this because I don't want a guy to run. Last time I didn't run away far enough and almost died. Yeah, I remember what actually uh, saved my life. Or I figured out what actually saved my life watching the video back. Um, so I had just drank one of my like potion things, one of these, and it was having my health go up. So if you look, if you watch back the video, um, down, oh, I can't show you, but down on like where my food and water and everything is, there was like a healing thing down there too that I didn't notice. That was actually, yeah, that was actually healing me, um, while I was dying. So that's, that's why I didn't die. If I would have not had that, not drank that, I probably would have actually died. So that's uh, good to know. But anyway, let's, uh, let's hold this and get into the haze lab. All right. What does that do? Okay, open that door over there, maybe. Oh, these must be new as well. These uh, water coolers. The ones to the pond. I saw these and like that is really sweet. You can keep using it. That's that's really awesome, actually. All right, what do we got here? What and why? Ex extraction during uh, covalent space reduction, time anomaly, impounding, transcription errors exist. Oh no. A shrunk wet ham. Oh man. Ooh, some okay. Oh man, good upgrade stuff. I'm gonna probably save this till I get out of here so I don't run out of inventory space. Um so I can get the good stuff at the end. Oh, we got a thing here. Do we have anything to okay, nothing to do there. Ooh, we do have a chest. I don't know if I wanna Okay, can I put stuff back in here though? I don't know if I can. So I'm gonna leave that there as well and we can get this stuff later. Let's go ahead and get this uh tree blues. Trudy was right, as always. Perhaps she should have been the inventor and not me. I should have listened to her when she insisted that I stop the experiments. 
But if I pack it up now, I will have nothing to show for it. No Trudy and the kids. No spacer. Not even my own health. The longer I'm here, the more I'm lumping up, aging, folding, raisining. But why? What am I becoming? A wrinkly virus, flailing helplessly in the dirt with the mushrooms. They are my family now. Though we only branched on the evolutionary tree a little over a billion years ago, I can feel us getting closer to him already. We're all a bunch of fun guys down here, aren't we? Oh, don't look at me like that. No one ever a raisin mushroom, did they? Did they? Oh man, so sounds like uh Wendell is not doing so hot. He's been experimenting down here and he's turning into a raisin. Ooh, I see a, a dead guy, which means there's probably a piece of armor around him. I like those odds. I'm gonna mirror this place. This place sucks, yeah, because of those. <laughs> what do we got over here? Oh, is this where the cool yeah, this is cool. I like this. It like shows the stage of growth. Anything there, but yeah, you can see that. It just starts as regular mushrooms, nothing crazy. Then you can see that, getting a little bit more inf infected to it, and then boom. There it is at its ultimate state. Got I add another thing here, big brain time. Attempts to reverse cell age in mushrooms seem to be going well. Mutations are volatile, but productive. The shift from phase one to two was almost a blur. This man might be a reason it seemed a blur, if I may be so bold. Well, who asked you, Burgle? Shouldn't you be tending to your tasks instead of eavesdropping to the intercoms? Huh? Now, where was I? Oh, yes! My friends! The respiratory hit us here. The answer is hiding in that moist, supple flesh. And once I have it, I'll be back to normal Wendell in no time. Just like it was before they all fell apart. I'll walk into that presentation room and show those ominous, <laughs> ominous schmucks I belong. How do you like that, Director Schmechter? Surely <laughs> the kids will come back. Everything will be back to normal. I just need these blasted shrooms to reveal their secrets to me. Forgive me, Dr. Tanoli. Yeah. Did you say you wanted mushrooms on that? Oh man, so that doesn't sound good. Sounds like he's gotten worse and worse and worse. And uh Yeah. I guess Trudy and the kids have left because he's become a, a ra raisin and everything. And he's trying to reverse it by studying his mushrooms, but it's not going so well from what uh what it sounds like. And these also these things in here. <laughs> I didn't, man, I must be terrible because I didn't see him anywhere and I got destroyed. What is this? Weevil figurine, what? Oh, what the heck? What is a we Okay, new idea is Weevil statue. Oh, okay. Rascal rope, enemy rotation. What the heck? Well, that is nice. I don't, uh... Must be something in the new update that I didn't see. So that's pretty sweet. We'll have to check that out. Actually, let's look at it. Let's see what this mutation is. Um, right here. Your desire to take things that don't belong to you seeps into your fighting style. Attack with melee weapons have a chance to steal items from your opponent. I don't know. Um, let me see. Can I, I can't put that on. Let me take, I don't want to take off Mr. Dotism. Let me take this one off and put on this one. Attacking creatures and melees grants one is still resource. Oh, resource taking. No way. That's pretty sweet, actually. What? So I thought it was going to be like players. And I was like, oh, that's not very useful for me. But yeah, if that's a... Uh, might leave that on actually because if we kill like or if we're fighting ladybugs you have a chance to melee tech um like swipe some off them that's pretty sweet so definitely might be useful all right do we miss anything else we got a button here okay oh and it, oh it must yeah we need to get to here to unlock that door okay that's pretty sweet anything in here we got okay some upgrade rocks i do want to take the stuff out of here because i don't want to come all the way back here i wish we could drop it off all right too hard, just right. Bottom of the lid, easy pour. Little mushrooms that talk. You're a, you're so smart, Wendell. <laughs> cool ideas. Bart solidifier spray for something. Oh, I don't know. Please don't. Please don't make that. That's 
I don't want that in the world. It'll, it'll be very, very sad. Oh, upgrade stones. All right, let's, uh, yeah, let's take all. I can, yeah, I can't open these back up. That's what I was afraid of. Uh, let's go ahead and open this. All right, we're doing, we're doing good things. Uh, I didn't see anything else in here though. I got some of those fungal spores, which are nice. Oh, we got that statue. Let's check that out as well. Craft. Is it on this uh, one? Yeah. Oh my god, look at the coziness he gives us. What? Okay. That's amazing. That is incredible. Uh, this is all just random parts. Okay. Yeah, that's... Okay, we're going to have to... Yeah, I'm, 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 on, I'm on a cozy kick. Definitely a cozy kick. So we're going to have to definitely craft that. Um, we have to go through there, but... That's going to be brutal. Oh, man. Yep. Yep. Very brutal. Very brutal. Okay, y'all just blow up there. Blow up there. It's fine. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. I should probably... I should probably heal. Actually, because my health is... Yeah, see that little thing? That little heart next to my health down there? Or next underneath my health? I, that's what the, the effect I had on me when I rewatched the video, and I'm pretty sure that's what saved my tail. Okay, come on, guys. Come on. Blow up. Alright, perfect. I don't know if you get any bonus by like killing these guys. I'm just gonna let them blow up though, because to me it's safer because I can get away and I don't have to worry about them as much. You're stuck in the train. Oh, you're stuck in blow up though. Okay. You can do so. Um that's this stuff needs to go away. Yes. I do not like you. You blow me up all the time. You too. Get out of here. Might be better actually thinking about it. Oh, look at that head. Um, to when you destroy these things, maybe swing once and then get closer to it, because then you'll get stronger swings on it. I know there's some stuff to explore over here. So we can get some of this haze fungus. Now look at that. We, actually, I think we have a ton of this at home, but you know what? When in Rome. When in Rome, right? Uh, now let's see. What do I have? Fingerprint scanner. That's odd. Okay. I was already in there, unless there's another way you can come in here. So this is that raw science, and there's the dead body we saw. Um, oh, okay, rummage. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Special forces, take that. Okay. Expedition member Dr. or D. Reed, external special forces, summer 20th, 1989. If I ever get my hands on that Smectre, I'll smack him like a dry billy hog. He's breathing down the commander's neck for months about the Wackadoo Orp project. Jumped up his bun so bad about it being the future of warfare. Not sure how I drew the short stall, but I ended up being volunteered for what seems like a pretty known mission. Occupying a established base camp at drop site, lay groundwork for orc operation, babysit a pack of pencil necks in a untamed wilderness, drop some light recon, or light recon, don't spill the beans, <laughs> don't spill the beans, don't make contact. I oh, mean, this thing's long. Simple enough when the fine print, don't read like a horror novel, the reality of the wilderness is some of the Fire dude's large hostile yard packed with nightmare predators and crazy experiments. Your base is casually visited by a four and a foot child, and none of those nerds you're stuck with want to work together. So you're on your own out in out in the there. Small arms and light weapons don't work at this scale. Hope you're good with sticks and stones. And you're also gonna shrivel up like fingers in the bath. Here's your one-way ticket. Thanks a lot, I'm in it. Uh You'd think the pucker factor would max out right about there, but it brings us to our current situation to find myself in. I was snapping picking some word glowing cartridge just as emergency shutdown message echoed through a subterranean lab. Ran to beat heck out of there just in time to get caught in a blast that shook the cavern like a hungry kid shaking the crumbs of a bag of chips. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. I think Hayes is rolling in, bringing with an army of creepy exploding bugs. They haven't caught wind of me yet, and this pocket I got knocked into seems to have real air for now. I'm not counting my chickens just yet. If I don't make out of here, tell mama lover. Big D over now. Not good. All right, what's this? Oh, I didn't get to see the picture. What is this one? Uh, defense badge. Okay. Badge from a scientist granting access to a super department at work. Damage resist and attack. Oh, your attack damage is down, but you get damage resist. So that's cool. Oh, sweet. Um, let's see. Data. Which one was... No, which one was the one that was in here? That was a hedge one. Gotta be this one, maybe? I'm not sure. It doesn't tell me which one, like when I grabbed it, which one it was. 
But yeah, it's just a tiny cartridge behind a glass window. I'm thinking that's probably the um the lab we're supposed to be. Now I know you can get up on here as well. Oh yeah, it's number three. Okay, cool. It tells me. Um yeah, I think it's over here you can get up here because I believe there's stuff like behind here. That you can get to. Oh, am I stuck? Oh, okay. Crouch. There might be stuff back here as well. We'll check it out. Yeah, I know there's stuff back here because I have been back here before. And, well, that was it, just a science. But, um, yeah, there might be stuff down here as well. We just have to get past all these electricity wires and everything. Squeeze down here and see. It's just, just nothing. Okay. It's in this here for, uh, for no reason. I should, I guess I technically I sent myself there. All right, let's see. Good there. Nothing really else in here, I don't believe. So I guess it's time to proceed down. Oh no. Oh, we gotta swim. Oh, I didn't bring my swim stuff. It's gonna put out my torch too, isn't it? Oh, we don't have to swim. It's not too bad. There's something over here. We'll check that out in a bit. There's probably stuff in the water that I'm missing. Oh no, I think this is the boss room. <laughs> oh, that's cool, like a little computer fan. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, here's a little research thing. We got some of these. There's a ladybug in there. Pretty sure if I remember correctly. Uh, phase three. Mutations in phase three are progressing at a rate I can't begin to quantify and they've spread to local fauna. Words can't express the sorrow I feel for these simple creatures warped and manipulated into ravenous, horrible, exploding beings. Stinging in reverse or even slow the changes in, a strain, in the strained spores or the creatures it has spread to have, have, haven't been fruitful. I'm tasking Burgle with keeping all eyes on this and introducing serious defense procedures to keep the lab safe. Catastrophic as it might be, my confidence in raw science as a catalyst for growth and change is sealed now. And yep, this is... Okay, so before she couldn't squeeze out of here. Oh! Oh no! Oh, they lock you in here now. Before you could bail. And, okay. This isn't going to help me, is it? Yep, because she can still blow me up. Yep, she can still blow me up. Oh, not good. Okay. So I'm just winging it. Uh, <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, I believe she just shoots these things at you, though. And apparently she just warps because she's, yeah, she's warped. That's cool. Affected later. Anyway, I'm pretty sure. As long as you stay out of. Oh, there's mites too. Wonderful. Um, as long as you stay away from her bombs. Holy cow. And you should be okay and just kind of shoot her. I did bring it plenty of arrows. Yeah, see. See, look at that. All right. Oh man, see, she's getting like direct hits on me, which isn't good. I must go ahead and heal up. Should, let me, should I use the pinch walker? I have a shield too, let's see. Oh, okay, it's thunder. Oh, nope, she's using bombs. Hit her with your bombs. I need to get rid of these mites. Yeah, get out of here. Apparently I can't hurt her. Get out of here to bombs. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! Get destroyed! That wasn't too bad at all. Oh, I got the truffle tussle. Nice. I don't remember what that one did. I think uh, that one lets you explode things or something like that. My arrows are at 38. I think that's what I had when I came in here. That wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be far worse. Yeah, these things, though, like having these around are not great because I was running around. I think that's what actually was exploding me, not her, but actually these I kept getting too close to. Oh, yeah, I like that. Hit the end of hitting the glass. Um, did we burn our torch out? No, we're close, though. Don't see it. See anything? No, these... 
And then yeah, this is what we saw earlier. The picture we got that we sh we showed us that, which is cool. Nothing else around here. No, no notes or anything. All right. Well, yeah, that's the boss fight. Wasn't too bad. I expected to be much worse. I probably didn't need to use the, uh, the arrows that I used, but that's okay. I actually upgraded my armor too, so um, I was probably a little more prepared than I needed to be. I think I upgraded my ladybug armor all the way to five. And then oh, throw the oh god, there's guys in here, isn't there? Didn't plan for that. Oh yeah, yeah, lots of guys in there. Um, just oh man, these guys are tough. Holy cow! Oh, this might be harder than the, than the freaking boss battle. Oh, these guys are not taking damage. This is probably is the wrong weapon to use, though, too, to be honest. There's so many of them. All right, let's uh, heal. Only a couple of them left. These guys are so hard to hit. Probably, oh wait, this is probably something that I didn't do. That probably helped. Okay, there's one. Ooh, that. Did you get hit by the AoE? Oh god. How many was that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is there any up here? No. Eight. Yeah, that's that was a lot. Use a bandage. And here we are. We made it to the end. We got some upgrade rocks. See, that's what I was talking about. Uh, it's like games have things highlighted for you sometimes, which is pretty nice. You know, like, oh, look at that. More bombs. I actually brought an extra one because I wasn't sure if I was going to need them or not. Was that... Duper disc. Oh, I heard about this in the new update. So this disc will let you like duplicate items. Okay, cool. And we got number three. So I might have to go to the old labs and try to see if I can find anything else out. This disc contains firmware for the Duper machine in the Oak Lab. Loading disc activate the machine software and increase the raw science processing limits required for duplicating more complex items. Yeah, it lets you duplicate items. Because one of the biggest complaints in the game right now was that like. If a bunch of your friends join, like, and there's no more upgrade stones that you don't have a way of getting them good armor and stuff. So you can use the duper and use some raw science in order to dupe items. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's see. This has gone poorly. Very, very poorly. The essence of failure, the pinnacle of its craft. Local fauna? Berserk! Mushrooms? Exploding! My condition? Like a baby toe after a long bath. Burgle, are you there? Is this a test? Yes, Burgle, it's a test. Now listen carefully. I'm abandoning this facility immediately. Initiate the Blazed Earth Protocol. Oh, man. By Dr. Tully, simulations indicate a 95.283% probability of catastrophic failure. I assure you the percentages are much higher than that. Now do it. Beep, boop, beep, 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 boop. <laughs> Why did you make fake beeping sounds? You said it was a gas. I was being sarcastic. <sighs> Complete the lab lockdown, blast the canister per protocol, and meet me in the black ant lab. All right, so apparently he, uh, he is the one that uh, wanted the explosion of the, the haze so he could shut down this lab makes sense we let's see i believe i got everything out of here but yeah that's it that's it we did the uh the haze up it's actually not too bad and you get through there pretty quick the next one the ant lab is uh way harder i get confused with the ant lab so much because you gotta unlock different doors and stuff and it's pretty massive um but yeah this one's not too bad we need to go back and get our items and then i guess i need to come back with a, a diver's knife so i can cut some of that stuff i don't think i have actually a knife on me no, I don't. So we can't. Oh, we need to. I had food on me. Oh, man. I was eating all that other stuff and I had food on me. Might as well eat it so it doesn't spoil. 
I was eating the mushrooms and they weren't doing anything. All right, now we can loot all this. Oh yeah, we have this uh, water container too. Oh, that's so nice. I'm so happy they added that. Um, so we'll grab these. And then we had a few other things. Oh, over here, that's right. Oh, some more bandages. That's nice. I think that's everything. I'm gonna check around the, the haze a little bit. See, make sure there's nothing I missed. Anything to research? Nope. And then uh, we'll head back to base, and I think we're gonna head to the Oak Lab so we can check. Oh, we gotta we gotta take Burgle's ship anyway, but I wanna see if anything's changed there. Um, we might also go and check out and see. Run back to the Pond Lab, make sure I didn't miss anything there. Um, since I, I I started this after the new update, and since I found that, oh dude, oh no, oh man, totally forgot about. I need a mask on for that. Um, do I have my mutation for? Yes. Not mutation. I need, my, I need my badge. Yeah, I do. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm gonna run back. We will go. Oh no! Don't you dare. Um, I head back home and then I'll probably sleep. Yeah, sleep and then we'll head to uh, to see Burgle. All right, made it home. We slept and I want to put down this Weevil statue. So let's go ahead and grab that. Doesn't take much to. Yeah, it's not very big. I'm gonna put it just right over here in the garden. Um. And that should add to our coziness. Oh, it might not be close enough, though. Might have to end up adding in here, because, yeah, I can see my coziness goes up. Well, looks like it must be added to it, because my coziness goes up when I come in here. When I go out here, I lose some of the benefits from the other places. Yeah, it goes down, like, two. It must be adding, but if worse than it's worst, I'll put it... I might, maybe I can just put it on the shelf, actually. Um, let's relocate you. Let me put it... Yeah, look at that. There we go. Now it should be contributing. Yeah, we're really close to level four. That's pretty sweet. Um, like I said, we'll have to check out the pond and see, maybe even the Oak Lab, see if there's any of these other statues anywhere. I'm not sure where they put them at. But we're gonna, I wanna make that. So now we're gonna head over and uh, meet Burgle at the Oak Tree. All right, made it to Oak Lab. We're gonna see if anything has changed. Um, I don't know if we can make it in there now because that was always been blocked off. Uh, let's see, this room, anything different? Doesn't look like it. Right, how about in here? Oh, look, there's the haze. Should switch over to that, yeah, Black Ant Hill. Yeah, that's crazy. Oh, we missed a embanging test. You can pick that up. Uh, Categorizing organs. Let's see. Pre-test notes: Have a successful miniaturization of a single complex electronic device. Test 44, test 45, or attempt to shrink a full box of these devices. On embiggening, subjects will be inspected and tested to ensure proper functionality. Results failure. Miniaturization successful. Embiggening and further testing is impossible at the moment. Subject was confiscated by a curious honeybee. Recovery unlikely. Box obliterated. Miniature scabs are certainly stuck in every nook and cranny of the yard. Oh man. Nice. So he, oh, a box of scab devices, that's what it was. So he, that's kind of funny. That's kind of the story of how they got spread around. So that's, that's pretty neat that they added that in there. All right, anything? Okay, we got, that's oh, just a pebble. I thought it was an upgrade stone. Okay, we got anything over here. Did I ever get this thing? Yeah, I did, okay. Let me just get rid of this stone. Just throw it. And then, Burgle. Okay, you were here, but I saved you. Anything over here at all? No, it didn't look like it. Are you moving? Oh, is he always moving? I can't remember. He's definitely moving now, though. What's up, Burgle? Oh, what are you doing with that chip? Oh, he's blowing on it. That's hilarious. <laughs> what up, Burgle? How can I help you today? Uh, I got another super... Oh, I did have another dream, but I... Um, oh, I got another super chip. Your survival scout training has proven me wrong. It's proven you wrong? What do you mean, Burgle? I do continue to live. 2500 raw science? Oh my god. One more time. Processing. Processing. The Hayes Super Chip. Dr. Tully tried deciphering the ageless properties of mushrooms. Disaster struck before he was able to finish. All 
of these great memories are coming back. Oh, good. Well, well, well. Some good news. A piece to the Ambigan cocktail recipe is now restored. But not all of it, unfortunately. Oh. Bad and news. Some strange memory fragments of a Java Matic. Does that mean anything to you? A the coffee maker? maker? Interesting development. Although I cannot say I love the taste of coffee, and I certainly have no clue how this fits into the equation. However, we are making progress solving this mystery. But we are still not done. There is one more super chip to go. Okay, I had another dream. Ah, more of your fragmented memories. Let us stack them together like the ingredients of a burger. They are a <laughs> common side effect of the shrinking process. The memories, that is. Not the burger metaphors, which are simply how I am programmed to understand the world. How can I be of assistance? Okay, that happened. That's from your last tiny. If they were following the ominous practical science manual, it is likely they were documenting side effects of the shrinking process, of which there are a few: short-term memory loss, constipation, <laughs> dehydration, oh, no. among other minor ailments. Well, I guess that makes sense why I didn't use your bath bathroom yet. As for the long-term side effects, nothing to worry about, my friend. You are looking fresher than a non-frozen meat patty. Ha ha ha! Project Orc? That is certainly not something that Dr. Tully ever discussed with me. Ominent requires its scientists to use code names for their projects. Eventually, the marketing department gets involved to spice it up. I heard one scientist just used American state names in chronological order. Laughing out loud. What a magnificent scheme. <laughs> but I digress. Whatever Project Orc is, the name does not sound good. How can I help you today? Did I? I don't ah, oh, did I find an auxiliary chip? Wait, I must have been. La I must have been the last time. I don't remember finding that. I wanna see what I can remember. Mm, much better. Check the ASL Terminal Science Shop for the new recipes. Have an exponent. Which one did I? I don't even know what I found. Okay. I treat the last super chip for burgle. Alrighty. We in the science lab because I hate ship. Oh, is this the super duper? Duper it is. Okay. Wow. I like the recipe for the beginning cocktail. What else are you gonna tell me? There's one more thing. Oh, the sunken outpost chip. Okay, that was the one I found in the. Man, it's been that long ago. But yeah, that's the one I found in the pond, and I never turned it in. Apparently. Did you just sneeze. Okay. Let's insert this disc. And uh, yeah. Use it and okay, so yeah, we can duplicate different things. Apparently, okay, so this stuff you can't. We can't do any of this stuff yet. Oh man, if I could duplicate these, that'd be fantastic. My, my fluffy dandelion tuft would be great. I have 11k. So if I use this, so this 500 to duplicate a gas mask. Okay, so this stuff's pretty easy. Anything upgrade looks like it's not letting me do. Yeah, I need to increase the. Science Processing. limit. Processing. That's pretty cool, though. And let's see. Oh, we need to check the ASL. Okay, uh, advanced production. Oh, the oven! Oh, right. Yeah, we definitely need to do that. We must unlock that. Okay, we definitely got to do that. So we need to buy that. Flat burst recipe. All the sunken outpost chips I don't really need because I am not going plan on going down there anytime soon. We got feather roofs. Oh, acorn turret. Okay, that's pretty sweet. Cookbook for the haze, but it does, see that takes spider parts and berry chunk spider slider. Ooh, that looks pretty good. Critical chance. And this one's well fed meal and attack stamina. All right, that one's not too bad. Actually, this one's probably the easiest because those are so easy to come by. I could probably make these pretty easily. Um, what else? Nothing else really that I want to get. We got the pond cookbook. Most of this has cookbooks or needs stuff from the actual like pond and getting over there is kind of a pain. So I don't know that I want to do that. We'll do, we'll do feather roofs because they look sweet. Um, do we have enough the acorn turret? Rocky rounds and groundy rounds. Okay. 
Um, anything? Let's see. Diving lantern upgrade. That might be cool because when we go diving, actually. Yeah, we'll do that. Still got 5,000 left. Um, maybe I'll just save it for now. Maybe we could do the splat burst. That's like a sticky bomb. Yeah, let's do that. We'll do that. That way we can, uh, and then there's no more quests available because I have a bunch. I didn't, I don't think that I found any smoke molars in the haze. Oh, well, I didn't find any in the haze lab, but I'm sure there's some in the actual haze. Now, what does it take to make this? Okay, let's see what do we unlock. Ambiguing cocktail. Okay, so we have three of the things unlocked. We just need the other two that we haven't found, which I'm sure is going to come from the other um, lab. And what else? Nothing there. Any new weapons? Okay, the splat burst. All right, sweet. And the slime lantern plus. I should be able to get all that. Um, new parts should be our, yes, look at that. Our crow feather. Oh man, that's going to be sweet. Nothing there. And then we should have the oven. Nice. See, I get to get the Everchar cool chunks, which I know there's, I got bowling glands as well, so that's not too bad. Oh man, look at those new ideas we got. Yeah, I'll check. I'm gonna check around here and see if there's anything else I missed. I'm um, gonna then I'm gonna run back to the uh, pond lab and see if there's anything there that I might have missed. What's this? Assistant manager key card. Oh, this is new. Okay. And that leads us into there, which that's something neat looking. Can I peep it? Oh, what is that? That looks cool. And there's also other good stuff, but yeah, I want to get in there. So we need the assistant manager to be defeated, which we'll get that taken care of in the black uh, ant lab. But yeah, let me go check around. I'll see if I've missed anything, and I'll head back to the pollen lab, see if there's anything in there, if I find one of the statue things, and then I'll uh, bring it all back. All right, so I actually found the figurine for the pond lab. So you're, when you're in this main room, you're going to go this way and go through where you'll see this uh, little mushroom guy. Come through here, and then you're going to go into this room. And then you'll see a little uh, like water down here. Then come through here. And then it's right there. It looks, I'm not sure. It looks like a little fish. Oh, koi. Yeah, it's a little like koi figurine. Which you can get. All right, go ahead and nab that. And imagine it opens up. Yeah, koi statue. Sweet. I'm running to the hedge. I'll look around the hedge and see if I can find that one. Dr. Schmechter, these... Director. Uh, Director Schmechter. These specimens are the breakthrough we've been looking for, just like you predicted. We're close to eliminating the raisining problem. Our team was up all night recalibrating the spacer. I see. Of course, my hypothesis was correct. I hope all of you remember this moment the next time you question my methods. Now then... What progress has been made on Kovalin space expansion? How did Dr. Wendell Tully, a lifetime failure, best the brightest minds at Ominent? Yes, sir. Uh, we're still working on that formula. I know it's been months, but the Embiggen process is far more complicated and dangerous than we predicted. Ah, uh, too bad for you. Ones. Prepare the specimens for termination. <sighs> this isn't what I signed up for. That was wild. So we just got uh, a dream, another dream. This director Schmechter was the person experimenting on me. But why? The scientists mentioned something called raisining could this be connected to dr tully maybe virgil knows more yeah apparently uh we were raisining as well as as like dr tully was and um apparently they, they they found they found a way to fix that but they haven't found a way to end it big in a shit and then uh director schmechter is was going to terminate us so that was a pretty crazy dream but uh, yeah, I just slept because I can't remember the hedge and that popped up, so I 
wanted to make sure y'all saw it, but we're gonna run the hedge and find this uh, the statue. All right, so I found the one for the uh, the hedge lab. So if you come in here in this main area that has this little like spider web thing here, this door may not be open yet, so you might have to unlock it. But if you go get into this hallway here, there's this table right here in this like intersection hallway, and here it is right here the uh, the aphid figurine. So yeah, we found all three. That's pretty sweet. Um, we'll definitely have to go back to the base and make these and see what they do for our comfort. All right, made back to base. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna craft this aphid statue and we'll put it next to the weevil one. Oh, made to level four. Nice. Oh, we unlocked more stuff too. Coziness. Picture frames, pine cove roofs. Okay, pine, coast, pine cone stuff. So there's all of that in the coziness level four. And then we will craft our koi statue. This one looks really cool, actually. I like this one. Oh my god, it's massive too. Yeah, it is massive. Uh, so we made it up to four and a half. So these statues definitely help with your coziness level. So that's pretty sweet. Um, and then they all are. So anyway, that's going to end the episode for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you uh, hope you had a good time. If you did, go ahead and leave a like in the video. If you want to subscribe and see more, uh, go ahead and subscribe. With that, I'll catch you all next time. Thanks, everyone.